There's a question I routinely get when I'm usually working at Popeyes that usually centers around the idea of how much of X do I need to take in order to see results? And it's kind of staggering how many people don't actually know the answer to that question. It's simpler than you think, despite how vague it seems. And today we're going to get into that. Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness, my name is Keegan, and today we are going to be talking about what I consider to be the number one piece of information that's going to help you fix your nutrition and get yourself on track and start seeing gains. It's way simpler than a lot of people think, but also something that is skipped far too often. So let's get it right down to the quick here. If we're going to be talking about, for example, a weight gainer, because that's when I hear this a lot around. A lot of people will ask, how many scoops of this do I need to take in order to see progress? Well, very simple answer, but I can't give it to you. You have to find it out for yourself. And that is, you need to figure out what your maintenance calories are. You see, if you don't know what your maintenance calories are, you're never going to know how to gain or lose fat. It's going to be an absolutely impossible task because you're not going to know if you're eating enough to see muscle gains and you're not going to know if you're in enough of a deficit to see fat loss. You have to know where that middle ground is. It's absolutely integral. So the first thing you should do, figure out where your maintenance calories are because after that, the math is pretty simple. You figure out what your maintenance calories are, then what you're currently eating, and then how to bridge that gap. If you're bridging that gap entirely with the weight gainer, the amount of weight gainer you should be taking in order to see results is the amount of calories you need to cover to get to a surplus. Pretty simple, right? Something very similar is usually said when it comes to the area of fat loss. A lot of people will think to themselves, well, you know, I want to take this protein to build lean mass, and, you know, just kind of, you know, get more defined. But how do I do that? And I'll be honest, a lot of people say toned, but we're not going to talk about that word. That word is garbage, but we're not tackling that today. Another day. Point is, a lot of people will try to wonder, you know, I don't know how much protein I should take. Is one scoop enough per day? Is two scoops enough per day? It's a very simple equation again. You need to figure out how much protein is optimal for you to intake so you can build muscle, and you have to figure out how much you're actually eating now. Then calculate the difference between those two things, cover the balance with the protein powder. Very simple, right? But that's an equation a lot of people don't do. You need to figure out where you are. It's a lot like when you're trying to plan a road trip. If you're going to plan a road trip, you need to know a few things. One of them is where you're going. The other one is where you are. If you don't know those two pieces of information, you can't really do the whole trip at all. It's an entirely pointless concept because you can't plot to get anywhere from a place you don't understand or know about. Point A and point B are both necessary. Figure out point A, then getting to point B becomes a lot simpler. So two things I feel like you guys should probably take away from this. One, figure out what your maintenance calories are. There's a lot of resources out there. I'll throw one in the comment section to help you calculate your BMR. Very helpful piece of information. It will guide you through a lot of your fitness journey. It'll be adjusted, of course, as you move through your journey and gain muscle, lose fat, and your physique and body composition changes. But go and do the work of at least figuring it out now and then adjust it later, probably like eight months from now. But of course, that will depend on your progress. I digress. The second thing, once you know your maintenance calories, figure out how much protein you need to intake to build muscle optimally. That equation is pretty simple. It's usually a one to one, one gram of protein to one pound of body weight. You, some people would say that's a little too much, but honestly, the vast majority of people can't even hit that. So as long as you're getting pretty close to it, I'd say within about 80%, we're going to be doing a really solid job. So figure that out for you. A lot of questions are easy to answer from there and the progress you will see with data that you've actually collected about yourself that allows you to get a full understanding as to who you are, where you are, and then being able to plot where you're going will be unmatched by anything you've seen thus far. So I hope you guys found this educational. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it fun to some degree even. And of course, if you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button below. And of course, please comment if you have any other tips or pieces of information that you feel like are huge hacks to help you see results in your fitness journey. I want to hear about them. 
talk about it in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, stay shining. Because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.